Himes Jr. right now in the city of Compton. You know, Lee, are you excited today? Of course I'm excited. I'm not the only one who's excited, though. It looks like everyone's excited. <laughs> Without further ado, baby, I got the man that played his dad on the straight out of Compton movie, baby. Without further ado, when I say O'Shea, you say Jackson. O'Shea. Jackson. O'Shea. Jackson. What a junior. <laughs> What's going on, man? How y'all feeling today? Man, I'm feeling good, man. How you been? I'm good, man. Chilling. Uh, you know. My Lakers is looking good, so I, oh. life is good. I don't know what you talking about. How you been, though, man? I'm good, man. You know, uh, loving life, auditioning, uh, definitely getting the the acting bug. Um, just really just trying to hit it head on. You know, it, 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 there needs to be a, a new movement, and I'm just trying to start the revolution. When did you, when, when did you get the acting bug? When did you want to start acting? After Straight Outta Compton was done. <laughs> it, it was like, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't my plan to be an actor. Uh -huh. I went to USC for screenwriting. Okay. I, I wanted to be behind the scenes. I wanted to to create the movie. You know, I didn't ever see myself in it. Uh -huh. And then Pops came at me with this opportunity. And, you know, when he first presented it to me, that's a big fish. You know, you, it's my first film. It's universal. Um, the story is so important. And the, and the timing of the release, it was just so important that it was a, a lot of pressure, not only being my father, but because it's my father, I can't have somebody else do him wrong, you know, do a, have a, a representation of him that I didn't see fit. And so I'd be in the theater nauseous if it wasn't me. So I had to, you know, I got to get that for him. I want to know, when did you realize that your father was Ice Cube? Like seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it... uh that's dad you uh -huh. know it's dad it's dad my whole life you know i, I know we can't go to six flags uh -huh. i know we can't go to the mall okay. but to me that's still my dad exactly. you know and uh when i turned 18 he took me out on tour uh we went to australia and you know i'm 18 i could finally mingle with the crowd after the show a little bit and a dude in australia told me how my father's music helped him you know he stopped uh, dealing drugs, he stopped gang banging and became a doctor. Like, showed me his card. And, you know, for my father to be able to affect somebody that way with, you know, a song I saw him write in the kitchen, you know, that, that showed me what type of power he has and how people look at him. And, and from there, you know, I, I didn't see that people see the same superhero that I know. What was your favorite, what was your favorite scene in a movie? My office scene. The scene where I get to go in there and smash up everything <laughs> and, and cuss Brian out and dip out because I, I, I like that scene because Gary go kill me. But <laughs> I like that scene because it, it uh, when the final script happened, it wasn't in there. Yeah. You know, that that scene was missing out the movie. Uh -huh. And, you know, I had to get on my my USC, you know, and send a letter to whoever I need to talk to to get this uh, this scene back in the film because yeah. I felt like it needed it. Yeah. We all seen, you know. Ice Cube yell, but y'all ain't never seen Ice Cube get mad. So exactly. like, I gotta get the people, you know, I gotta give it to him one time. Mm -hmm. And I like that scene also because I get to shout myself out. <laughs> I say, uh, uh, I got a baby on the way, you know? <laughs> I'm that baby, if y'all didn't know. Man, what what um, what have what have you been surprised in this business though? You know, what, what have surprised you? Like, you know, I know your dad tells you all type of stories, but what is what have you experienced like being a part of this business you like man this is gonna be crazy even though they all might not have the occupation every single one of them is an actor every you know producers directors that you meet casting directors even a lot of them are actors a lot of them have a have a have a genuine feel to them but can only play out so far. And then, you know, you, you, you may realize through, you know, through others or, or through some other venture that what they were spitting to you wasn't truth. And it, it, it really helps me decipher who I need to keep around in my life. You know, you can really tell a genuine person from, you know, somebody who's trying to, you know, like somebody who's just trying to fugaze you, like somebody who's just trying to give you the runaround. And a lot uh, a lot of the people that you meet in this business are looking out for them before they're looking out for you. 
Man, it's a pleasure having you here today, man. Man, you know, you know I'm, I'm loving it. I love to see I love the love out here. I'm going to end up getting me a burger before I hit this 405. But, <laughs> you know, it's going to be all good. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Man. O'Shea Jackson Jr. kicking it with Clipper Darrell. But, you know, we had, we, had, we had Tom's Jr. doing it big, straight out of Compton. But we back in it today. You know, showing love to the people, people showing love to me. Nothing better.